All right, so other cool ph phenomena. Um, so the resistance of mercury is very uh, is zero at very low temperatures. So it's a, it's a superconductor. So a something with extremely low um, resistance is called a superconductor. Um, and effectively, the, an ideal superconductor has zero resistance. A real superconductor actually has um, some resistance. You will find superconductors in all sorts of things. So um, at the Large Hadron Collider, the magnets are superconducting magnets, um, which actually cause some problems. So if you have a tiny short in your superconductor, it will heat up. Superconductivity, most forms of superconductivity are what we call low temperature superconductivity, which means that you're talking about liquid helium temperatures or about 4 Kelvin um, or slightly above that. There are some things that are what we call high temperature superconductors. High temperature means about 80 Kelvin or about liquid nitrogen temperatures. So not exactly high temperature um, by our standards, but by superconductivity standards. Um, here, um, you this uh, you take a superconductor that cooled the cooled the liquid nitrogen temperatures so that it uh, it can superconduct, and then you get eddy currents in the um, in the superconductor itself because it's so easy to, to have electrons move around. The eddy currents create magnetic fields, and the um, or sorry, no the the superconductor wants to exclude magnetic fields because it's a conductor. It wants to arrange things so that it excludes magnetic fields. So um, it actually will push the the magnet up and make it levitate. Um, and this is a squid, um, which uses a superconducting loop um, and two Josephson junction, junctions to detect magnetic fields. And that's it.